Hey there, fourth grade clarinets, soon to be fifth grade clarinets. First of all, happy summer! I hope that you're having a great day today. Uh, and so this video is for if you get your clarinet out of over the summer and you're thinking, I don't really know what to practice, we'll just play along with this video. All right, this will be a great thing to play along with and it'll give you some fun stuff to practice. All right, so anytime you're not sure of what to practice, Open this video and play along with me. All right, guys, so first thing, let's go through the, the five notes that we have learned so far. All right, if you have not gotten to all five notes, that means there's still some of the other videos that you haven't watched yet. So go back and find where you left off in the YouTube videos, all right, and find, um, or just pick a, pick a video and see if you already learned that. And if you did, go to the next one. Um, if you didn't, maybe go back to the last one and see, uh, find where you are. All right, cool, so this is for anyone that has already learned the five notes, okay? So let's take a look at the first note. Here we go, first note that we learned was a C, right? Thumb, one, two, three, good. Next note is a D, show me a D. Thumb, one, two, there's our D, good. Next one is the E, thumb, po uh, pointer finger. Good. The next note we learned was the F, just thumb, thumb only, right, covering fully that tone hole. And then the newest note that we learned was the G, right? And so the way we can remember the G is, look, Mom, no hands. All right, so those are the five notes that we've learned so far. So how about this? Why don't we first make sure we're using really good posture. Our feet are flat on the ground. Try to make sure you're sitting in a chair when you practice. I know some of you are possibly sitting on the floor. That is not a great place to practice. Try to find a chair, or even if you're sitting on your bed, that's better than sitting on the floor, all right? Because on the, with the clarinet, it's hard to get, you know, you gotta get that bell up, uh, and away. we don't want it to be too far away from your body. If you're sitting on the floor, you might have to hold it too far out. So. It's supposed to be, when you're sitting, like in a chair or on your bed, you want the bell to be right in between your, your legs, right? Here we go. Can we please just make sure we're holding it correctly? Our left hand is on top. Left hand always needs to be on the top of the clarinet. Right hand is on the bottom, all right? Using that thumb rest. Have it rest right there. Good. All right. Awesome, guys. Can we just make sure, we're gonna play a C first. Thumb, one, two, three. Let's rest that reed on our bottom lip. Roll it into our mouth, top teeth on top. Good, and let's blow air straight through it. Awesome, make sure you're getting that good sound. Always check your reed uh, as you are playing, making sure that it's not chipped at all. If it's chipped, then you might need to get rid of that one and pull out a new one. All right. Here we go, guys. Make sure that you always suck on your read, though, before you play. All right, we're going to play uh, up our five-note scale. We're just going to play each one, but we're going to do the echo. All right, so I'm going to play my first note first, and then you're going to play yours. Let's just check our notes. So here's a C. Can you uh, listen first? So let me play it first, and then you're going to play. Go ahead, play your C. Good. Next is the D. Listen first. Your turn. Good. Next is E. Listen first. F. And G. No hands. Cool. All right, guys. So make sure that your sound is the same as my sound, okay? If you hear something a little wrong or something different, make sure you're not accidentally hitting any of these side keys, all right? If we hit any of those, it's going to mess up the sound. We don't want to do that. Okay, awesome. So guys, let's do some uh, let's do some whole notes now, all right? Going up and down our five-note scale, all right? So let's play together this time. Together, all right? So we'll start on our low C, and we'll go all the way up to the G, and then back down to the C with whole notes. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Good. 
make sure when you play your G, don't remove your hand like too far because you gotta be ready to go back to the F. So make sure like a thumb is ready to cover that um, to go back down to the F, all right? Okay guys, nice job. So let's do now four quarter notes, all right? Four quarter notes tonguing all the way up and then back down that scale, all right? Same scale, we're gonna play together again all the way up and down, make sure your tongue is touching that reed. Here we go, one, two, Ready, go. job guys awesome all right so let's now uh, find some of our favorite songs that we've done in the book all right so grab your book can we please turn to page hmm go to page seven first page seven let's play some of our favorite songs so go down to number 1.14 hot cross buns how can we not play this one right so 1.14, Hot Cross Buns on page 7. We are going to, yeah, just go through a few of our favorite songs right now in the book because it's always fun to play some of those songs that we've already learned, that we know, um, that are they're just enjoyable to play, right? Here we go. So let's take a look. Make sure we're tonguing every single note, including the half notes, right? And it's got a repeat at the end. So how about we, we play it first time through a little slower, and then we'll stop, and then we'll repeat it faster. Here we go. From the beginning, hot cross buns, sitting up nice and tall. Good. And one, two, ready, go. <laughs> Let's repeat it, but we'll do it a little faster. Two, ready, and. Rest, rest. Awesome, nice job, guys. All right, let's turn that page over. Go over to page eight. Number 1.17, Mary had a little lamb. Let's give this one a try. Mary had a little lamb, number 1.17. All right, here we go. So take a look at that one, tonguing every single note. Let's give it a try. Here we go. One, two, ready, and. <laughs> Let's do number 1.20. Do it like this. All right, I'm going to play the B part, and I want you to play the A part. So let's do it as a duet right now. Here we go. I'm playing B. You're playing A from the beginning. Do it like this. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> Nice job, guys. Okay, cool. So I probably didn't do 
some of the songs in there that you really like. So right now, I want you to pause the video and pick one other song in there that is one of your favorites that we have not yet played, all right? Anything that you've already played before, that's fun, all right? Play it right now. All right, awesome. Hopefully you guys just played something uh, that's fun in there. You can play a different one each time. Um, all right, now is a great time to pause the video, and I want you to pick a new song. So here's the thing that's really cool. You guys just played uh, with those videos all the way to the end of page eight. So that means you know the five notes. Look at page nine. You actually can play all the songs on page nine. And look at page 10. You can play all the songs on page 10 as well. It's not until page 11 that there's another new note in there. But you actually could figure that out really easily too. So there's a lot of new songs that you could try out. So some of us have talked about sight reading. This is a good time to now pause the video and sight read a new song. But I recommend that you always go in order in the book. So if you haven't done the top song on page nine yet, then start with that one, all right? If you've done number 1.23, on the bottom of page eight, but you haven't done 1.24, then start with that. And practice it a bunch, all right? That one's a fun song. And then once you know that one and you're ready for a new song, go down to the very next song. Don't jump in this book, all right? Or you can open up that packet that I emailed you and I sent out called the Summer Fun Melodies, all right? Open up the clarinet part for that and try one of those songs. So there's some Disney songs. There's... Some songs you might not know as well, like the summertime song, but that's a classic. And since it's summertime, why not put that in there, right? Uh, or you can try Happy Birthday. So there's some, uh, some new songs to try there, but you're going to definitely need to look up how to play some of those notes. There's a bunch of new notes in some of them, all right? But all notes that you can definitely play. So if you need to look up new notes, open the back of your book to page 55, and it says clarinet fingering chart. Clarinet fingering chart, and it's got a ton of notes um, in there. But you can find any new note on that page, and it'll show you how to play it. All right, so check that out to try to challenge yourself and learn some new songs that are fun to play. All right, awesome. Hopefully, if you haven't yet, pause the video right now and try one of those summer fun melodies right now or a new song in the book. All right, cool. We are gonna do one more thing together right now. So, one of the other things that I have emailed out is this song that almost everybody knows called Let's Go Band. This is like every fifth grader in, at Pelmac plays this song at their spring concert. So, I thought it'd be fun just to give it to you as a, a fun song to start looking at. Um, because you actually can play all these notes except for one. There's only one note that you guys need to learn at the beginning of the song in order to play it. So why not try it now? Because it's a lot of fun to play. So we're going to just finish our lesson today with looking at the first two measures of the song. So this measure and this measure. Because if you notice, there's a pattern in this song. They just keep repeating themselves. So we have this measure and this measure. And then this third measure, it's just like the beginning again. It repeats a lot. All right, so this song is a lot of fun to play because once you know just those couple notes, you can play basically the entire song. So let's go band. Try it at the very beginning. So please open up the music that I gave you that I emailed out. It's going to be a PDF. Open it up and take a look at the first two measures. Let's just learn those couple notes and go through them right now. Just the first two measures. So it's C. Good. Next is an E, thumb pointer, E. Good. Next is an F that you already know. Next is called an F sharp. So all we have to do is we're going to actually not use our thumb. We're going to switch to just using our pointer finger. Just our pointer finger. That's it. And then that, that last note there is a G. You know the G. No hands, right? So let's play those notes together. Here we go. C is the first note. Next is E. Thumb pointer. Next is F. Next is F sharp in the front there, just pointer finger. And then G. No fingers, right? Let's try that again from the beginning. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's it. Do it again. And that is basically how this whole song goes. So, try it out. Try to see if you can play it through this whole thing eventually by the end of the summer. And it's a fun song to keep working on. And each time you do it, once you get the notes down, do it a little faster each time. All right? Hey, guys, hope you're having a great summer day. And I hope you continue to keep getting out your clarinet. All right? Anytime you're not sure what to practice, open up this video and play along with me. Guys, have a great day. I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you soon, and I'll talk to you soon. If you have any issues with your instrument, or you just want to play one of these songs you've been working on for me, email me. I check my email in the summer, and I would love to hear how you're doing. All right? Bye, guys.